Okay, now when we get a new firmware update on a Samsung Galaxy device, the size could be anywhere between 100 MB to a whopping 3 GB depending on the kind of update we are getting. It could be a security patch or a major Android upgrade which is going to take anywhere between 10 to 20 minutes to get installed on the phone. And while the updates are being installed, the phone will get turned off without allowing us to use the phone which is kind of annoying. But very soon, this is going to change. What I mean to say is we are going to get a new feature on Samsung Galaxy phones which will enable the phone to install the update in the background while the phone is still on letting us use the phone. And once the installation is complete, the phone can be manually restarted to install the update. That sounds fantastic. However, this seamless update feature is expected to arrive on the Galaxy phone next year with One UI 6.0 based on Android 14 as reported by Sam Mobile and Android Authority. Hai Sun Jong, the VP at Samsung Electronics, who is responsible for One UI development, has apparently revealed about this upcoming feature to Android Authority. We have recently seen this feature on Android 13 on Pixel devices where it takes hours together to install the update while the phone is still on. That's because the phone is installing the update on a separate partition on the memory while the phone is still operable. This is the same seamless update feature which is expected to land on One UI 6.0 based on Android 14 next year. Apparently, Google has made it mandatory for the OEMs to create virtual partition on which the firmware can be installed in the background as per Sam Mobile. Now, as far as the One UI 5.0 stable version is concerned, there are speculations about the final release which is expected to come out in another two weeks. But on contrary, we have some more leaks which says there is another beta which is beta 6 expected to hit soon and then the stable could arrive by the mid or end of December. This is what we know as of now. We never get a confirmed date or the schedule for the firmware rollouts. So let's wait and see how it's gonna go. I will anyways update you guys about the upcoming updates and features so be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button if you find this video informational. And yeah do let me know what do you think about this seamless update feature. Do you really want it? Do you want Samsung to keep both options open while installing an update maybe a toggle to enable the seamless update feature which is going to take some time in the background while the update is being written on the virtual memory or keep it turned off if you want it to be installed quickly let me know whether you want both these options in the comment section that's about it i will see you in the next one soon my name is salian sunning off cheers bye bye I like that.